Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com. In my house, we have a rule about meal times, which is you're not allowed to bring your phone to the table and no reading at the table while you're eating. This basically means that meal times become a bit more social. They give us a chance to talk to each other. Um, they give me and my wife a chance to talk to the kids, find out what's been going on in their lives, how school was and all that kind of thing. Yesterday, our daughter came home from school and as we were sitting round at dinner time, chatting about what had been going on during the day, she mentioned the fact that in her year they'd announced the football team for the girls. And football seems to be the one sport she actually enjoys doing at school. And she had been hoping to maybe get into the school team. However, she didn't get in, they left her out. And she was, as she put it, a bit miffed about it. If you're a bit miffed or a bit miffed about something, you're a little bit annoyed because of the way you've been treated. So maybe you wrote and complained to a company or an organisation a few weeks ago and they haven't got back to you at all. So you're probably a little bit miffed about it. Maybe there's a big party that all of your friends are going to and you haven't had an invite. You haven't been invited. So you're quite rightly a bit miffed about it. And if you have a kid who's maybe 17 or 18 but still living at home and you and your partner decide to go away on holiday without your teenager, your teenager might be a bit miffed about this. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it on social media with your friends, your students, your colleagues, and in the comments section below, we'd love to hear examples of a time you were a bit miffed or a time someone you know was a bit miffed.